Lutzen must not go. It's impossible. Why? Why is it impossible? You must take my word for it. Lutzen must never leave here. Conway, we need your help. We can't manage the cliff without you. I want to get away from this place. And Lutzen, too. She's young. Doesn't she count? Lutzen is not young. Not young? You're, you're a raving man. It's the truth. Her beauty is a fragile thing that can only live where fragile things are loved. Take her away from this valley and she will fade away like an echo. Mallinson, listen to me. I tried then to tell him the secret of Shangri-La. He looked at me as though I were mad. And as I read the disbelief in his eyes, I began to doubt myself. It was too incredible even for me to believe. And then, Lord Sen came to me. You will help us, please. We need you. Lord Sen, do you wish to leave Shangri-La? Yes. You know? Do you understand the risk? I love him. If he is not with me, I would die here. For hours, I paced the balcony. I could not tell whether I had been mad and was now sane, or had been sane for a time and was now mad again. But always before me were the wistful, pleading eyes of a little Manchu girl. And I knew that whatever was her fate, I must share in it. That morning, with the wind roaring through the jagged cliffs, we made the descent from Shangri-La. <laughs> traveled toward the east, Mallinson, the girl, and I. And then our porters began to desert. One by one they disappeared, until there were just the three of us, creeping like snails across a desert wilderness. Then, for a long while, we were only two. Mallinson had died. First I tried to believe it, it was the hardship of our journey which had changed, Lord Zen. I am tired. I can go no further. We must go on, Lord Sen. I am tired. There, that must be the last range. That mountain, you see, Lord Sen? It is too far. I cannot see so far. One more step. Lord Sen, one more step, one more, one more. No, you must go on alone from here. Her eyes were depthless shadows, her skin drawn, the color of ancient parchment, her cheekbones. Lord Sen, Lord Sen, I am old. I am so They found us on the road to Chungkiang, and we were taken to the hospital there. Lo Tsen, they told me later, Lo Tsen died that same night. The oldest woman they had ever seen. <laughs> The storm of which Father Perro warned me still rages. Not yet has the Christian ethic been fulfilled when the meek shall inherit the earth. But Shangri-La has a heritage to cherish and bequeath with such wisdom as men will need when their passions are spent. Soon, I hope, I will return somewhere beyond Lhasa on the high roof of the world. I seem to picture a long plateau running north and far away a mountain, rising white against the sky. I hope to find it again, for this, I think, is Caracal, and beyond is Shangri-La, and the valley of the blue moon. <laughs> ¶¶